I've been helping people test from around the world with our CA5293 BT. So we're going to show why the CA5293 BT is one of the best you... Wait, wait a minute. This isn't the right outfit. Ah, that's much better. I'm ready to go. Next, we're gonna connect the unit to the supply. Using our four millimeter banana leads, we just plug them into here, just like that. We're gonna go over one of my favorite features. When we press this mem button, we start recording. We're gonna leave that recording for a couple minutes. We'll come back and we'll have a look at the data, get it connected to my phone using the Bluetooth functionality. We're gonna press the mem button again, just to stop the recording. That's now saved within the unit. We can also look at the recorded files by pressing memory and then looking at files. As you can see here, here's all the recorded files on the unit. Let's go to L, the most recent one, and it will show us every parameter within that file. So to set Bluetooth up, we go in the setup mode, we then check communications and we change the type to Bluetooth as it's already on. And then we can pair it with our device once we have a tick indicating that we're connected, we can press the home button. We can see the real time live measurements either in this form or we can see a graphical display of the voltage. We can reset it at any time. We can also choose to take snapshots along the top. We'll then go into the instrument setup. We can change any parameter that we want. We can either sync it with the date and time on our device, which we're now doing. We can also change the refresh period rate from 0.5 seconds all the way up to 60 seconds. So as you can see now on the real time measurements, you can see this updating every 0.5 of a second. Thanks for letting me show you my favorite feature with the CA5293BT. Now I have lots of more customers to see, so I better be off. I'll see you again next time.